We'll begin looking at inventor templates and creating our own custom template. To do that, we'll start with one of the existing templates provided with Inventor. We can use IDW or DWG. The first thing we'll need to do is delete the existing border and title block. Right click on each and select delete. The next thing we'll need to do is edit the sheet size. We can right click on the sheet select edit sheet, change the sheet size, and set up our orientation for portrait, landscape, our title block location. We can even change the sheet name from sheet to drawing or any other name we prefer. We can exclude from printing and counting. Once we're satisfied with the sheet size, click OK on the Edit Sheet box. We'll now expand the Drawing Resources folder. If we expand the Borders folder and then right-click on Default Border, we can insert a new drawing border. We can decide how our zones are going to be labeled, alpha or numeric. We can also choose to have no zones labeled. If we expand the drawing border parameter box, we have access to layer options, as well as how our zones are notated or delimited. And we can also adjust margins if we need to. Once we're satisfied with our border setup, we click OK on our box and our border is inserted. We'll now define a new title block. We do that by right-clicking on the Title Blocks folder, select Define New Title Block. We're immediately taken to the sketch environment where we can begin to add our title block line geometry. Using rectangle, line, arc, circle, any shape that we need, we begin to lay out the geometry for our title block. Add values, dimensions. Continue to place lines as we need to. We can use tools for editing our line geometry, trim and extend. We can also add dimensions for our line geometry to make sure they're located appropriately. It's a good idea to use the values in one dimension to equal another, so we get equal spacing. Once we've created our title block line geometry, we'll probably want to add in a logo image. On the Insert Panel and Image button, we can browse out for an existing logo. Inventor only takes the BMP type logos. We'll want to be sure to uncheck the link box on that Insert Logo dialog. Once that's finished, we'll want to begin to add text to our title block. On the Draw panel, select the Text button. And the very first type of text that we'll be adding is simple, dynamic, or rather, I should say, static text. This is text that won't change. Through the same text editor, we have the ability to add model properties, as well as set our justification for any text that we add. We can add model properties, drawing properties, sheet properties, 
or other properties. Select the appropriate property and then click the add text parameter value at the end of that line. Click OK and our, our property is inserted. These are simply I properties that we're placing. We can copy existing text and place it in a new location just using copy and paste. We can drag text from one location to another. And then a simple double click or right click and select edit text lets us change the value. Once we've placed text in our, in our title block, we'll probably want to geometrically locate it using dimensions and geometric constraints. get horizontal and vertical locations and again use the same values in different dimensions for a symmetric setup. Finally we're ready to save our title block. We'll select finish title block, choose the save or save as button, give your title block a name, Click the Save button and the new title block appears in the title block folder under Drawing Resources. Right click on it and select Insert and the new title block is located exactly as it needs to be. Please review our other videos for project setup as well as iLogic rules to bring model properties into our drawings. Thank you.